Well, folks, you might want to hide your kids, hide your wives, because today we're talking about scientists discovering an alien in desert. What happens next? Shock the whole world. That's the title of it. And if you see this guy, right, you're going to see a video right now. But this guy is someone that I have teased a lot or talked about a lot on the channel before because he's the defense minister. And if I'm not mistaken, he passed away. And before he passed away, he has said it numerous times that there have been bunch of species, multiple species of aliens that have been on this planet. Like this video, share this video, and let's check this out. Why do you say that UFOs are as real as the airplanes flying over our heads? Well, because I know that they are. And they've been visiting this planet for thousands of years. Whole bunch of silver darting object. They're going like to this peak in a group, to this peak in a group, and then they'd all take off. After a frightening encounter with what they claim, they're shiny eyes and, and well, they're not human. Yeah. They're 100% they're not human. The thing I can see in the backyard is a top creature, probably around. Yeah, I, I believe this case a lot more than the Miami Mall thing for sure. Eight, 10 feet tall. What the hell? Where mysteries abound and the unexplainable captivates our imagination, one phenomenon stands out above all. Aliens. Yeah. Disguising in the shadows or out in the open. Something walking away from my home and my driveway. Just when you think you've seen them all, they would pop out from the nooks and corners of the world to leave you stunned. What the heck? Ah! UFO sighting. Antarctica's McMurdo Station, a research place, had something unusual happen in 2015. 2015. A man who worked in Antarctica for many years and was a part of the U.S. Navy during missions shared his experiences with a reporter there. He and his okay. crew saw multiple round silver objects flying around during one of his missions. Whole bunch of silver darting objects. These objects did something strange. They moved from one peak to another and then flew away together. Okay, so this is not a real footage, but this is like the render version, uh, and they're basically describing what happened, and then they made the render or the cinematic CGI video, right? Or is that video real? Peak in a group, to this peak in a group, and then they'd all take off. His crew could never spot the strange object ever again. Which leaves me wondering course, if there could be some extraterrestrial creature hiding in the South Pole. It's at yeah. least one to 200 guard, feet huh? in diameter. Big hole in the ice. What are your thoughts on it? Let me know in the comments below. Yeah, a lot of people also do believe in we've done a conspiracy of Hollow Earth, Agartha, Atlantis not long ago. So just search up on the channel Agartha and you're going to find that video. It was a very, very uh, mind blowing video as well, right? Because uh, there are a lot of people uh, believing that, yeah, there there is a South Pole. And in the South Pole, there is a hole in which you can go. And if you go in there, then you will find Agartha. Yeah, uh, Hollow Earth. Yeah, you know. Alien Creature. Uh -oh. The video shows a slender, damaged being lying on snow, having Wasn't every in shock. However, as we look Maybe closer, not. doubts emerge. Field biologist Lucy Eckersley ruled out human origin due to its small size and odd head shape. Dealey can tell this isn't human because it's very small, and it also doesn't have the formed chin. She suggested it might be a primate. So like no jawline. Now this is a picture that I have seen before, but I thought it was uh, not real or perhaps debunked. I don't know. I don't even know why I said it was debunked. So it must have been in my subconscious, right? Uh, or I must have read somewhere that it was debunked or fake or whatever. But, but I, I don't know much about it. I've only seen like picture of it. So it's kind of wild that now we're seeing a, like a video like that. That claims that, okay, so it's not a human, but just we do not know what it is. And no jawline to work on your jawline, bruh. Though its presence in Siberia puzzled her. While many believe it was an alien whose aircraft probably got crashed, therefore it ended up in a quite a strange condition. Despite the authorities quickly taking the alienish creature in custody, no progress had been made. UFO landing. I mean, they probably made progress. They just don't want to tell us about it. In Egypt. A few years back in Egypt's big desert, people saw a scary UFO up close. Whoa! It's kind of terrifying. Holy, is that real? What's even scarier is that the UFO that looked like an alien spacecraft wasn't just sitting there. Even though the video is a bit blurry, you can see strange things moving inside it. 
As the UFO takes off, something comes down from it, possibly an alien-like creature, which Holy also crap. swiftly takes off at the speed nah. of light. Okay, no, that, that, nah, not real. Or is it? Holy crap. Any of you familiar with this footage? This is the first time I'm seeing it. I was gonna say real, but then it's like you see that beam kind of shoots up and you see that light, uh, that sparkle right there. I don't know, man. That makes me not want to believe it, but... Right after the spacecraft. The rest of the footage feels real. Maybe it's aliens taking someone, or perhaps they're going back to their spaceship after being on Earth for a while. People watching were shocked and really scared by the whole thing. Some say it might be fake, while others think it could be real. It's up no. to you to decide. Oh, okay, if it's up to us, then yeah, probably fake then. <laughs> so yeah, even he don't know whether it's real. Yeah, nobody knows, right? But this is an insane video. If it turns, imagine this is real, right? And we're all thinking it's fake. Imagine that though. But it's like, you don't want to believe everything either, right? Like, uh, and you also don't want to dismiss everything. It's like, what, what do we do here, man? Like, because this video is a shocking video. You see beings coming out, right? I don't think we've ever seen a video. There was like one video from Turkey where you see a UFO at a distance and a guy like zoomed in so much that he was able to see somebody sitting inside the, the craft. Okay, that one I believed it. But this one is like you see the beings coming out in broad daylight in God's hot, under God's hot sun. So I'm like perplexed. I am perplexed. Creepy sneaker. In a strange incident too, yeah. near Moscow, a 12-year-old boy used his phone to capture unsettling footage through a ventilation grill. This oh, video no. caught something strange moving around, making everyone curious. You cannot tell what it was at first, but when you take a closer look, you can see some weird face-like shape in there. Oh man, bullets not the affecting this. boy thing. shared the video with his parents, claiming a monster was in their apartment. The unsettling footage left everyone in shock, but so far there's little information to explain or provide context for this eerie occurrence. What if it was a turtle, you know? <laughs> no, probably not a turtle. Frozen Demon. Frozen Demon? In the freezing oh, cold yeah, of Russia, an astonishing discovery was made. Wow, we got something big right there. Big a frozen right there. demon. In June, a group of adventurous scouts found a strange figure trapped in the Siberian ice. I saw a YouTube short on this one and I thought it was fake because of the way the guy reacted. Uh, but, but I mean, it wasn't that his reaction makes, made me feel it's not real. It was like a YouTube short plus the reaction. But the way now he says it and now that we have the full video like that, I don't know, man, like this feels kind of... Kind of genuine, right? Can you show like the entire understand. with twisted landscape? teeth and skinny bony fingers? It resembled something from a scary dream. This ancient and mysterious creature preserved in ice for an Holy unknown crap. duration and gave everyone chills. Even curious scientists were left wondering, "What is going on here? Oh my God, I'm so scared right now." If it could potentially uncover the secrets about aliens. Okay, now I, I'm, I'm. I'm likely gonna, I, yeah, I believe this more than the Egyptian one, just because like, but he needs to show like the entire landscape, like how a landscape, how big is the, the frozen river, because I don't think anybody would be able to fake something like that. I mean, people would go at lens, don't get me wrong, but something like this, I don't know, man, that's like, if it's fake, then it's very, very creative, and they need to get that Oscar for sure, or whatever award there is, uh, and I'm not sure if you guys saw that movie, I believe it was called War of Tomorrow or something like that, I, I, you know what I mean, and towards the end, we find out that it's like the aliens were frozen in Russia, and because of the global warming in the future, that, that ice melt, and then they came out of it, this is kind of giving me that vibe. Those of you that watched the movie, you know. There's I mean. a whole body of a monster right under this ice. It's like having a real life frozen mystery just waiting to be revealed. Deserted creature. This weird footage shows a mysterious humanoid creature wandering through the desolate landscapes of the Portuguese desert. It looks like an unidentified creature moving slowly across the wasteland. He looks like a cartoon from a... from a... With a tall figure, a stoop back and two legs. Before they could zoom into the mysterious features of the walking alien, it disappeared into the bushes. 
No response. Many guesses were made, with some believing this was the legendary Chupacabra, mm. a mythical creature known for its strange appearance. Yeah. And if you ask me, I would call it an accidentally alien captured on camera. Giant Features Guys, before we get into it, I just want to say, and if you want to support this channel, consider becoming a member by clicking the join button. All right, let's get back to the content here. Boo -boo. In 1932, pilot George Palmer, flying from Las Vegas to Blythe, California, made an astonishing discovery in the desert. He found giant figures etched on the ground. The figures, including humanoids, animals, and a spiral, were likely created by scraping away rocks to expose lighter soil visibly from the air due to their Holy. immense size. Yeah. The Blythe and Tagalos, Top dating circles. back potentially 10,000 years, captivate with mystery, Man. as their origin, purpose, and creators remain a mystery. The entire place was protected by the government since 1952, which makes this all a bit more suspicious. Lastly, these huge geoglyphs challenge the understanding of ancient civilizations and their artistic expressions done by the experts. What if they look like this, right? Because this looks very, very closer to a human. Okay, so you don't call these crop circles, you call them something else, is that what it is? Oh, and, and you're saying 1952, so you're saying that till now it's still good and it still look like this and it's protected by the government? Okay, that's, that's crazy indeed. Mummified Alien Baby Okay, so this story is hard to believe, but trust me, it's real. It begins with a woman who lived alone in the jungle. One night, she heard a baby's cries coming outside her house and decided to follow the sound. The cries stopped Bad and idea, she stumbled but... upon a tiny but actual alien baby near a tree. Living alone and having nobody to talk to, she immediately adopted the baby. The woman, whose name was not revealed, had been living with the alien baby until one day when she fell ill and was taken to the hospital. The little one left behind alone didn't make it. And that's when the story took a mysterious turn. Scientist Boris Zotloff sent specialists to collect the creature, but a UFO allegedly intervened. Benlin thought otherwise. According to him, the Secret Services might have taken it, leading him to stop his investigation. Months later, another lead emerged with a woman claiming to have Al Shinka's cloth. Moscow police sent it for analysis and found unique DNA, suggesting possible extraterrestrial genes. No way. Tiny alien like. Okay, in my mind, I was gonna link it with this exact uh, little alien thing. In a Chilean archaeology discovery, the Atacama skeleton initially thought to be an alien due to its yeah. unusual. And later on, they did say that it's not, right? Yeah, I was actually thinking that this is what the other lady uh, discovered in that forest, but apparently not. Apparently, that the. Okay, the other clip was very, very intriguing. This one, we know, like they said, it's not. But then later on, like, I, I heard conflicting reports. They said that there is some uh, non human DNA, but it. it but we do not know, right? Or maybe it's like they know, but they don't wanna. They don't want us to know, right? Maybe that's what usual it is. appearance has been genetically profiled by researchers from the University of California. The Atacama skeleton definitely looks like an alien. It's six inches long. Contrary to extraterrestrial origins, the analysis revealed that Atta is indeed human. But scientists tell us that Atta is definitely a human. With 64 unique genetic mutations. Nah, previously crap, unseen bro. in humans. Bioinformatics analysis suggests these mutations significantly impacted Ada's skeletal system, resulting in her distinctively small stature and having only 10 pairs of ribs as opposed to the typical 12 in humans. And it has 10 ribs when humans are supposed to have 12 ribs. While the mutations are alien to our usual genetic makeup, Ada is scientifically identified as a human with extraordinary genetic variations. Oh, chills! Conehead Skeleton A full skeleton complete with a weird cone-like skull surfaced in Russia's Arkham archaeological area. That looks, like, theory, that looks like a gulag right there, you know? I know it's not, but... He's within the UFO community about the skull's possible extraterrestrial origin. The chief archaeologist at Arkham in Russia... And this guy surprisingly looks like Putin as well. What are the odds? 
what are the odds? It's not, he's not, but like, holy crap, you see that, like, facial, especially, like, he's a little bit bald there. No disrespect to my bald homies and brothers and uh, fathers that are watching this video. Shout out to you guys, Rock, but like, y you know what I mean, right? Like, holy crap. Address the rumors about a skeleton with a peculiar cone-shaped skull. They explained it from a scientific point of view, easing the speculation. While this discovery raises curiosity, it also makes us think about the secrets hidden in the Russian soil. It really yeah. makes you wonder what other fascinating finds might be hiding in the depths yeah. of this ancient archaeological site. High-speed UFO Okay, honestly, this has been a very good video so far. Like, there has been a lot of, like, different clips uh, with a lot, uh, I would say, extended context and a lot of the clips that I never seen and I'm assuming like um, some of you guys uh, or most of you guys never seen either uh, definitely let me know like if this feels like a video that you've never seen before right shout out to 50m videos if you're brand new definitely subscribe it would be a pleasure to have you it all started on August 17th 2020 in Cornwall England near St. Ives Bay a beloved vacation spot on England's southwest tip a webcam caught the setting sun along with something unusual a bright orb streaked along the ocean, paused, and then seemingly shot up instantly. Everyone, Damn. even those who love UFO stories, found it interesting, but Mick West had a different take. And I wanted to debunk it. Uh, people were saying things about it which were obviously wrong. West reconstructed the scene and argued that the object was not miles away, but closer, around 300 feet above the beach. From here, and it's only about 300 feet away. He concluded it was likely a drone, given the local trend of using drones for sunset photography, and the video was debunked as manipulated footage, often seen online. So, it was a drone, not a UFO, and the mystery was resolved, thanks to a closer look. Blue light in late. But it doesn't feel like uh, a drone, right? But okay, I mean, uh, yeah, uh, we have we had so many like different sightings. I guess it's uh, safe to say that a lot of them can be explained and if this is one of them that is explained and it's if it truly was a drone then I guess that's one mystery solved but I'm not I'm not convinced I'm not satisfied with that you guys feel that it was a drone or you think that nah it's not a drone because I certainly don't feel like that it's a drone but okay fair blue light in Could this strange sight be a natural event or is it possibly one of the first instances of a USO unidentified mm, yeah. submerged object. Veteran fishermen on Lake Bakal in Russia reported seeing a mysterious glow beneath the lake's surface during a night trip. They approached to investigate, familiar with the area, but never having witnessed such a phenomenon. The glow lasted for over two minutes before vanishing. The question remains, was it a hidden human-made submersible or a truly unidentified underwater object. Yeah, never, never go on those un <laughs> unsubmersible object. The enhanced footage adds an extra layer of intrigue to this puzzling sighting. UFOs on, on moon. moon. In May 2019, a Moscow-based photographer capturing a full moon came across a very captivating sight. I think Black I made a video on it. circles crossing before. in front of the moon. Yeah. What the F? What the F is going on? As more objects entered the frame, it made him wonder about the nature of these. Holy crap! Nah, I did not. I did not see this. We had like some videos like that before, where you know, uh, a, a, tele a guy with a, an amateur with a telescope would be like capturing some really, really good footage like that. But this is different, though. This got so many of them. Circular formations. <laughs> Astrophotographer Andrew McCarthy estimated their potential size, suggesting that if they orbited the moon, they could be two to three miles wide. If Holy these objects crap. were orbiting the moon, they would have to be two to three miles wide. Experts analyzed the video, confirming its authenticity. Initially, there was confusion about whether these objects were satellites or UFOs. However, a close- I mean, like, these circuits are moving like bees and mo mosquitoes, like, let's be real. Uh, uh, we had similar videos before, like I was saying, like, two, three max, maybe sometimes only one UFO going around. Some would be like, nah, it's just like a bug. But if it was a bug, like, for example, right, like, you, you got your camera, right? I'll take my finger, let's assume that this is a bug. I'll bring it closer. If, if a bug gets closer to the camera, this is how it will look like, right? And these cameras are so zoomed in that 
you wouldn't even notice a bug going by, right? Because it's so zoomed in. Just like if I put my finger close, you see the blur. You don't even see my finger unless uh, it becomes uh, focused fully. But you see the blur around my finger, right? And, and this is like not even zoomed in. This is like normal camera. But if you zoom in, your everything becomes a blur except for where the camera is looking at and it happens to be the moon and it's now seeing all of this activity so these things whatever it is it is definitely like far far away maybe in the sky okay but probably in space close yeah closer to moon and you're able to see it and they, ha they have to be big so they are captured on camera given the sheer uh sheer size there's so many of them it's like the entire family it's like they're, they're going on a picnic or something closer look revealed a more down-to-earth explanation Astronomer Mark D'Antonio noted the changing distances between objects, ruling out satellites. Instead, he proposed that the round shapes were migratory birds flying dangerously. The possibility that these are Drones. satellites. We're actually looking at birds. Despite this initial explanation, the incident shows that we are paying more attention to the moon and are exploring it further. <laughs> UFO Fragment a strange object, possibly a UFO or space junk, fell from the sky into the Siberian woods, leaving everyone puzzled. Weighing around 200 kilograms, the cylindrical object with a ridged dome sparked speculations about its origin. Was it debris from a recent rocket launch or perhaps part of an alien spacecraft? Despite the initial uncertainty, the Russian space agency stated that the object is not related to space technology. A thorough examination was required to draw a final conclusion. Local residents discovered the mysterious fragment and, after attaching it to a trailer, reported the finding to Moscow authorities. The object Holy. was then confiscated for further inspection, which of made course. this unusual moment even more interesting. Of course, and could you imagine, like, this thing actually landed, like, just a few inches or a few feet on uh, across and it landed on that building bro man 200 kilograms and especially coming from space with that velocity like holy shit bro like whoever was in that building they should be thankful man like they would have died 110 percent like if this thing landed on the house or the building Man, look at the size Unknown too. Unknown sea creature. And you're saying it did not break either, right? A strange right? Like sea creature covered in tube-like fur has left people confused after appearing on the eastern coast of Russia. The big creature without a clear face with eyes was found recently on the shore from the Bering Sea. Selavatano Dodninko, a local resident, found it interesting. <laughs> and wondered if it could be an ancient creature. She hoped scientists could Man. check out this mystery from the ocean. The creature looked furry, but the fur is like tubes, like lots of tiny pipes hanging down from its body. Yeah, we need Scooby-Doo right now with the you mystery game. You can also gang. share your thoughts on the origin of this mysterious sea creature in the comments. UFO crashed. In the vast desert of New Mexico, an extraordinary event unfolded that left the entire region in awe. The crash Holy. of a glowing disc-shaped UFO. The U Holy crap! So it like bounces and then you see the crash pieces. Damn! UFO and alien lovers were captivated as news spread about an otherworldly encounter in Roswell, New Mexico. The mysterious episode took a complex turn when remains of the crashed craft were discovered some time later. The ranchers came across very weird debris near Roswell and quickly turned it over to the local sheriff, raising curiosity and leaving people from all over the world surprised when they heard about the mysterious event in New Mexico. The crash that happened wasn't just an accident. The discovery Damn. of the UFO parts made people everywhere talk and ask if there could be creatures from space. People yeah. even started thinking about the possibility of <laughs> aliens living with us on Earth. As more information came out, New Mexico desert became a key place yeah. for those wanting Yo, could you imagine like you recorded this and you saw this thing with your own eyes and you ran there and tried to grab a piece of that UFO and just ran away with it? I I'm sure like as soon as this happened, military would be all over it. They would just make a bunker around it like, you know what I'm saying? Nobody get back on the ground, get back. And they wouldn't let anybody near that thing. Absolutely. To solve the mysteries of space. Silver creatures in lake. <laughs> 
this one. Divers from the Russian Navy claim to have encountered unusual aquatic beings in Siberia's Lake Bakal, which is home to a diverse range of animals. These humanoid creatures reportedly had webbed hands and feet. The divers also reported seeing an underwater pyramid with hieroglyphics. According to the divers, they communicated with one of the beings through telepathy, and it identified itself as a scientist from another solar system studying Earth for centuries. After about oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I heard the story, and, and it's like the things, yeah, thank you for subscribing, and it's like the thing that they have on their heads is basically a way of them to breathe un underwater. But the, the shocking part, and the shocking part from all of this is that so telepathic communication and the human that is telling us he apparently got the message from that alleged alien being that was telling him telepathically that he's a scientist from different planet and they have been studying the planet for centuries now for centuries you think it's crazy i thought that you guys would just need like a couple of minutes uh, to scoop around okay like these people can never live in peace but centuries that's quite baffling as the homie james from that is impossible channel would put hashtag baffle gang right now hashtag baffle gang like the video if you're also baffled right now 20 minutes For of centuries? interaction Come on, the bro. being disappeared into the water now imagine if all of this is true aliens among us whoa mind officially blown mummified dog Yakutsk, Russia, December 2nd, 2019. A moment frozen in time. In this fascinating tale, a puppy from 18,000 years ago, perfectly preserved in Russia's permafrost, was brought into the spotlight for the very first time. Discovered in 2018, this puppy is literally a marvel of preservation, boasting intact fur, teeth, and even whiskers. Man. The scientific community was left shocked, conducting DNA studies to reveal the mystery of its origin. Is it a dog or a wolf? Russia's Far East has become a treasure trove for researchers. I don't want to be the first guy to say it though, I'm, I'm sure you guys are also thinking about it, but what if it's like an alien chihuahua? <laughs> I'm just saying, what if it's like an alien dog, though? Exploring the remains of ancient animals in recent years, this tale of a prehistoric puppy offers a glimpse into the wonders hidden in the frozen landscapes of our planet. Bronze Age Couple Let's take a trip back to 2017, when scientists came across a truly extraordinary find. The bones of a couple snuggled up together from a whole 4,800 to 4,300 years ago. Now, here's the kicker. Right next to them, there was a tiny skeleton of a baby. What do you think it means? The woman is up front, like she's in the middle of an interesting conversation, and the baby is chilling behind her. Now, here comes the even wilder part. Inside someone's noggin, instead of finding a brain, they found some seriously odd stuff. Finding these like really what? old bones was like stumbling upon a time capsule holding love, family moments, and a dash of mystery that we're still piecing together. In my mind, I'm thinking like somebody murdered the family and kind of, you know what I mean, right? Together. Snowy Sahara. That's what I was thinking. Imagine the Sahara Desert, famous for its scorching heat, suddenly turning into a winter wonderland. Well, that's exactly what happened on January 18th near Ain Sefri in northwest Algeria. Temperatures dropped to negative 2 Celsius, and the desert experienced a rare snowfall. This phenomenon is incredibly unusual, occurring only five times in the last 43 years. Crazy. Yeah, it's... Despite Man, snow and desert, like, that's, uh, you know, it don't mix too well, but whenever you see snow, that's like, holy crap, like, it does look quite nice, uh... You know? Being surrounded by the Atlas Mountains and situated 1,000 meters above sea level, and Sephra usually stays dry due to a lack of water in the air. The desert is known for its extreme heat, with daytime temperatures averaging 38 degrees Celsius. This Nighttime, unexpected snowfall, however, has sparked discussions about climate change. Some experts believe that the rare event could be linked to climate change, indicating that such occurrences may become more common in the future due to global warming. 
unusual weather patterns like snow in the Sahara, prolonged cold spells in North America, and extreme heat in parts of Russia and Europe are happening more frequently, pointing to the impact of climate change. As our climate continues to evolve, scientists predict more significant changes in winter weather. Now, a lot of people don't believe the bull, uh, bull crap about climate change. A lot of people believe it's climate change, climate change. I think it's a little bit of both. I, I think there is some truth behind it, of course, but it's not just the climate change, climate change. It's not just the what they say, right? Weather. The Sahara with its surprising snowfall. Talks, might agree, agree, disagree. Uh, definitely let me know what you think because there, there's a whole lot of conspiracy on that too. Like, hey, some people won't even believe anything at all uh, about climate change a lot of people would just believe it fully and some people would be kind of like in between and i'm kind of like in between on this one i do believe like some yeah yeah for sure right you know like some things are related but not everything turn green again in about 15,000 years who would have thought we'd witness snow in the world's hottest desert it does look quite nice actually nature crap, never yeah. ceases to amaze us with the unexpected Russian Bigfoot. Ow. In Russia, a family claimed to have captured footage of Bigfoot. Oh, Damn! Yo, brother, jumping though! Known locally as the Almasti. Stories of this elusive creature date back to the 1700s on their property, adding a historical layer to the mystery. The video featured in an episode of Finding Bigfoot presents compelling evidence according to them. I need a 357. I need a Magnum, bro. I need a shotgun. I need a 50 cal Barrett because th this little Canadian airsoft is not gonna work honestly on this uh, Russian Bigfoot, bro. Not good, brother. The footage not good. showcased a creature showing unique movements and characteristics. <laughs> Some observers argue yeah. that the creature's jump often mistaken for levitation, is a common effect seen in large animals during jumps, oh. akin to a whale breaching or a tiger leaping. Damn. Some viewers suggest similarities between the creature's markings and those of a silverback gorilla and many other guesses. Some say it's not real, but others say we should look closer. When a Russian Bigfoot jumps, I panic. Simple as that, guys. I'm not even afraid to say it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I ain't even afraid, bro. Like, that's the, the honest, real truth. If uh, if you see a Russian Bigfoot jump, run! What are you doing there? Run! Run for your life! Run for your wives! Run for your, for your kids! They point out how the creature starts running on all fours before... And most importantly, run for your dear life! Jumping on two legs, making it more interesting. People are still pretty curious and excited about the whole Bigfoot mystery in Russia. Meteorite Falls Imagine this movie-like scene, a tiny asteroid hurtling from space at 33 miles per hour, crossing southern Russia. Cameras captured its journey, but then a breathtaking explosion of light followed by a massive sonic boom. Divers pulled up a colossal fragment of the meteor responsible for this chaos from the bottom of Lake Charbolkal in the Urals. This space rock chunk is thought to be the largest piece from the meteor that broke up over Chelyabinsk, Yakenburg, and Timon. Scientists from the University of Chelyabinsk led the recovery, considering it a unique find, possibly weighing over 500 kilograms. The meteor's shockwave was so intense, likened to 20 Hiroshima atomic bombs. Thousands witnessed the mesmerizing explosion as the meteor lit up the sky before its traumatic descent to Earth. And now let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. It definitely was an insane sighting. I, I remember, like, uh, I believe it was in... Um high school when that happened right i remember that that happened in russia let's buy a subscriber similarly if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across just send it to us who knows we might even feature it in one of our videos in this strange uh -huh. video from russia a doctor caught an alien like creature moving on ah, a wheelchair to a fancy fake. building which appears to be a medical facility As soon as the footage went online, it sent shivers down the viewers' spines, leaving them with questions about its true identity, from where it came from, and where are they nah. taking it to? These questions nah. are- Okay, the last one is just like, you didn't have to put that, bro. But other than that great video, guys, click on this video on the screen. This is the last episode that we've done. Check it out, and I'll see you right there.